friends today we will learn some interesting facts about measurement of length hey go to are you measuring the length of the dining table yes this is 1,2,3,4,5,6,7 and 8. The length of this table is equal to 8 hand spans of my palm. Oh, go to, that is not how you take the measurement. Then how is it done? Look, when you have to measure the length of an object, you measure from one end to another end of it. You have to measure the length of this table from here till here. Okay, I have understood. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The length of this table is equal to ten hand spans of my palm. This is the correct measurement. Now measure this using your arm length as a unit. Hmm. Then the length of this table is 1, 2, 3 and 4. The length is 4 cubit length of my arm. No go to. While measuring the length of the table, you have left some space between the two arm lengths. In this way, you can never get the measurement correct. Yes. Okay. Now I have understood. I will measure it again. It would be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. The length of this table is 5 arm length. Yes, now the answer is correct. Thank you, Mintu. Yes. Then always keep in mind, while measuring the length of any object, always measure from one end to another end of the object. Yes, I will keep it in mind. And also make sure to remember that while measuring the length, no space should be left between the units. Yes, I will remember that too. Okay then. Let us go and play now. Okay, let's go. Yes, so friends, today we learnt some interesting facts about measurement of length. In the next chapter, that is how many peaks, we will learn to count and depict information. See you.